Hi everyone, Donut here. This is pretty crazy. Uh, the last 28 days on YouTube has been my best month I've ever had on YouTube. For some reason, the YouTube algorithm gods have smiled upon me and they've given me my most watched video ever from August of last year. A lot of you are probably here because of that video. The video cop gets shot in the chest and stays in the fight has hit 7.6 million views. My most watched video ever. And in doing so, it's boosted a bunch of my other videos and 250,000 people have subscribed the past 28 days. Welcome, all you new people. It's wonderful to see you here. I am at exactly two and a half million subscribers now. We're on our way to three million. That's super exciting. Thank you so much for coming over here and subscribing and liking and doing all that fun stuff. On to the video. This is Deputy Sarah Vaught with the Warren County Sheriff's Office. Sarah is a badass. I say this all the time, but this might be one of the craziest videos I've ever seen. I say this all the time too, but if you're looking for a pucker factor, this video is it. There's not too much information leading up to why officers were dispatched to the call. All I can find is that on February 15th, deputies were dispatched to a well-being check. It's where a family member might call and be like, hey, I haven't heard from my dad for a couple days. He was acting funny. Can you go knock on his door and see what's going on? Cops go up, knock on the door. Hey, what's up? You good? You good? Okay, cool. They usually don't end in shootings. Reports state that they made contact with 56-year-old Lance Runyon. Deputy Vought definitely made contact with him. <laughs> Do not worry, though. Deputy Vought, who you just saw right there, almost get removed from this plane of existence, is fine. She is unharmed. All the other officers on scene are unharmed. Suspect, not so much. This entire incident was caught on one of those ring doorbell cameras, and it's clear as day what happens. Deputies approach the house. They're kind of walking around. Deputy Vaught knocks on the door. That's when the 56-year-old suspect leans out with a gun, points it at her head, and pulls the trigger. Here he is. Here he is. Deputy Vaught dodges the shot, pulls her own firearm out, and one-handedly puts the dude down. Here he is, here he is. Show us your hands! 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 Hands. 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 hands! I'm good, I'm good, I think. I think Move I'm good. Move back! Step back! Back up, don't handle it. YouTube? He didn't die, and you can't see him getting shot. He was in critical condition, they stabilized him, and then charged him with attempted murder. What's kind of crazy about this, too, is these are the calls that people want to send social workers to. Some people have been leaving comments like, why are you against social workers going to calls? I'm not against social workers going to calls. I'm, I'm against them being the first person who knocks on a door during things like this because they get shot in the face. If it can be afforded, I'm all for pairing them up with cops. This argument is mainly for the abolish the police crowd, which is the entirety of Twitter. We can all say if you would have sent a social worker to that and the social worker alone, after you abolished the police, that the social worker would have got blasted in the face. This reminds me of another video involving a female deputy. You can check, you can check that out right here. The guy tries to shoot her, she mag dumps him. He didn't make it. As far as other content goes this week, I'm gonna be doing a breakdown sometime within the next few days of the Benny Edwards shooting, which is where a 60 year old homeless man with a knife got shot in the back three times and the officer was charged with manslaughter. There are some technical aspects in case law that I kind of want to go over, particularly uh, Tennessee versus Garner, which is a case law that says you can shoot a fleeing suspect if you think that they pose a threat of serious bodily harm or um, death to someone else or, or you. We're gonna go over that in the video. Until next time, everyone, thank you for watching this one. Please like, subscribe. Go check out my Twitch channel where I'm gonna be right after this. We'll probably do a live Leo recap. That would be fun. Twitch.tv slash donut operator. Check out my merch at bunkerbranding.com. If you can't get enough of me on this channel, please check out my vlog channel. I have a gaming channel. Um, other than that, everybody please have a fantastic day.